Hello Libra, welcome to your MTR monthly tarot reads for August of 2019. This time I'm going to be doing, oops, I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for the person that you're dealing with. Let's have a, a sneak peek of their August of 2019. All right Libra, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. For private readings and information about my tarot decks, in the description box below. All right, here we go, Libra. This is for Libra, Libra's person, <laughs> Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus for August of 2019 in love. Libra, your person is manifesting in in manifestation mode. The Sun, the Fool, Six of Swords. Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Empress, that's you Libra, Queen of Cups, Knight of Coins, and the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck would be your energy Libra, okay? So I'm going to start here. Libra, you have the Devil and the Page of Wands. I feel that you are, um, well... This this um, connection, Libra, or this person that you're dealing with, I feel that this is not a new person at all. It's um, probably a person that you've been dealing for quite some time now that it feels like it's very difficult for you to really detach from. I'm not sure if it has reached a point of obsession, but it's more like, um, you know, there's that um, magnet magnetism or you're just stuck in that situation or with this person basically mm -hmm. and um, well you could have been uh, communicating with this person there would have been an ending between the two of you you're still uh, trying to um, hold on to this connection oops and you've tried several ways in trying yeah You've dealt on several ways, trying to see things from different perspective. And probably that's your way of holding on to this. And um, you have probably communicated that to this person as well. You could do, you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn too. But there's a lot of confusion here. And somebody walked away and um, feeling detached, cold. You could be dealing with another air, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And, um, yeah, this person would have walked away from you and probably have dealt with um, different people, um, another earth sign and another queen or another um, fire sign. So this, pe this person that you're dealing with could be um, dating or, or, you know, seeing other people r other than you and you very, you very well know about it, okay? And I feel that uh, well, the way I see on this card is that um, this person could be, you know, um, probably dissatisfied with their life. But if it is coming from your angle, it's like you know that this person is um, is being the knight of ones, um, probably a player type of person. And um, but you very well know that what you have brought on the table is worth that Ace of Cups, and whatever they have around them would probably be um, what they want, but probably not something that they truly need. And then, but nevertheless, Libra, that's not your problem, right? At least now we have a sneak peek of what they are doing, yeah. But what is directly affecting you is the fact that somebody walked away and um, it's pretty much difficult for you to let go of this. Okay, let's look at the person that you're dealing with. Um, well, this person is um, coming in here with um, as a magician in August, okay? So they would be in manifestation mode, trying to make things happen. And I know it's a positive energy, but based on what we have here, um, in your underlying energies just note that um, with this type of energies right here the person that you're dealing with would probably be 
because you've been through hoops here as you can see that you've been through the loops here there could probably be an essence of um, being manipulative just to get um, whatever they want so just be mindful of that all right but on a positive positive note this person is um, wanting to start something new create things hopefully always on the good side or with good intentions What's blocking them is that um, it seems like what in whatever they do, there's not much of a happy or successful um, outcome. Or pretty much this person is just not happy with whatever is happening, with whatever is going on in their life right now. Okay? So if a person is not happy, whatever you do, it becomes like a really boring and sad routine. Yes? But nevertheless... This person has this uh, mindset in August to just risk it, start a new endeavor, new beginning in whatever means, in however this means to them, okay? This could also be, um, well, it's good to start something new, but this could also mean like, um, you know, without um, calculating the risks, just jump, jump in there and then see how things go. So, yeah, well, this is good if you're 16 or 17, given the fact that, you know, with these energies right here, if you're 16 and 17 and you just jump right away in that sense, that's good. But um, as we age, we know that in every choice that we make, there are consequences, yes? And, yeah, hopefully this person would uh, start something new in a good light yeah by also trying to assess um, the possibilities of um, of what's gonna happen trying to mitigate risks okay but with a fool no there's no mitigation of risk right there just wanna have something new and I feel it's coming uh, from the fact that they're not happy with whatever they have so whatever first chance they can get they'll jump into it okay in the past, um, this person may have offered love to someone, either to you or to somebody else. You've got another earth and um, fire sign here that they're dealing with. Or um, this could also be you or somebody else have um, offered um, some form of emotions towards them. Uh, with the Six of Swords, they do feel that um, this person is trying to find um, some form of release from all the stresses in life they're trying to uh, get more inner peace here not wanting to fight not wanting con confrontation whatsoever okay but they're just moving on to a um, calmer waters in the near future this person is going to be in love or this person is um, going to realize that they are in love. With a King of Cups, though, they can still control that emotion. So they might feel it. They might know it. But um, it's up to them on how they're going to show it. Okay? But in the near future, this person would come to realize that, yes, I'm in love with this Libra. Or with whoever is in, the, in their list right now. <laughs> Okay, for now, Libra, this person is pretty much, um, I feel that um, they are thinking about you. This Empress represents you. Um, um, alternatively, this could also be them wanting to have growth and expansion in their current state of life. Yeah, to grow and um, find more abundance in their life right now. Yeah. Um, external uh, force or external influence that they are not aware of right now or in August is that somebody is pro is in love with them, with this person. Yeah, it could be a water sign, so you could have water in your chart or somebody who is a water sign, or just anybody who is um, um, represented by this um, sort of energy somebody who has emotions towards them because these is um, a pair here we have the king of cups and the queen of cups 
So there is that uh, kind of divine pairing here. So that's coming towards them, all right? And um, their hopes is that this person is hoping to at least be able to know what to offer into this connection, or at least what to do. As Knight of Coins, um, they're thinking about how to go about offering something. For some of you, this person may have um, thought of um, offering something before. And then with the Knight of Coins here, this talks about just being standstill and thinking about the steps. It's a pretty slow energy right here. Mm -hmm. But in this deck, I do feel that there's it's movement. It's not a standstill energy. You see the horses are kicking up. So this person is thinking, hoping, they're hoping that um, they would be able to offer something to this relationship or at least know what to offer, okay? And in August, your outcome Libra with this person is the lovers. There is deep um, connection or deep feelings for this connection right here. It's just that this person needs to make a choice. Um, either a choice to um, have their heart and mind in sync with a certain choice and move towards it, or they could be dealing with a lot of other people and then they got to make a choice who to move forward with. All right, Libra? Let's get you some advice here for August. What advice do we have for Libra for August of 2019? I love the depiction of the fool here. The jester. It's so cute. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. So this advice could um, be for both of you. All right. But since you're the one watching me, so yeah. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Oh wow, what else? Additional message for Libra please, for August of 2019. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. All right. Libra, if you think about it, um, for this person right now, you know, just my two cents here, this person right now is unhappy. And they're trying to create things, but knowing that they have options here, right? And they're trying to sort things out on their own. And... Um, I think it's best with this advice right here, it's best for you to um, start something new in your life right now because you, do, you don't want to be waiting or you don't want to be a doormat here. You don't want to be um, waiting at the doorstep of a person who is um, very indecisive right now, okay? And they have options, so yeah. Make this per I'm not saying that, you know, you, for some of you, you could really be in love with this person. But the fact that um, it appears like for them, you are an option. So, but you're an empress. You don't, you don't want to settle for that. You're not an option. You're, you see, they have an option. This could be you. I feel that you are in love with this person. Yes. But as of now, you're stand your standpoint is you're, you're an option for this person. So match that and let them be just an option for you and um, believe or open here, open to the infinite nature of abundance because you're an empress. You have that capacity to open up yourself and um, get more uh, positive energies to come to you rather than just waiting for a person in decision, all right? 
I hope that gives you insight, Libra, and um, let me know your comments in the, um, the section below. Hit like and subscribe, and if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.